On Tuesday this week, South African scientists launched a clinical trial to test whether childhood vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella can protect frontline healthcare workers from COVID-19 or reduce the severity of illness for those who get infected. Cape Town University and the University of the Vetvatersrand have partnered for the vaccine trial. Let's get more then on this story with the research director at Vets uh, Reproductive Health and HIV Institute, Professor Sinead Delany Moretlo. Thank you so much for joining me, Prof. So this is a vaccine known as MMR. What exactly are you looking into um, in as far as that vaccine uh, versus COVID-19 is concerned? Yeah, so we think this is a really interesting interim strategy. Um, we think that the MMR may be able to prevent COVID-19 through one of two approaches. The one is that it can train the immune system to strengthen its response to infections. And the second one is that there may be some cross protection between uh, the MMR uh, antibodies and those that could be used to prevent COVID. Um, so there's some data that we have to suggest that this is a strategy that could work and we want to see whether we can use it to protect healthcare workers. What exactly in the, in the characteristics of the MMR vaccine um, give you hope that it could work, specifically when you talk about uh, the antibodies uh, element of it? So this is an interesting approach because it's not like the specific vaccines that are being developed to target uh, SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The idea is that vaccines like this, so um, what we call live attenuated vaccines, that contained the, the, the actual measles, mumps and rubella virus, but in a very weakened form, can train the immune response to recognize infection and to produce cells that when uh, you count, encounter a future infection like SARS-CoV-2 can then help the body to fight that infection so that people don't become sick or if they do they develop a very mild form of the disease. And Prof, just for the untrained mind, I, 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 I had to wonder when I heard about the study that you are conducting in this country, there's extensive vaccination of children between birth and, um, you know, the year five. I mean, for instance, the, the measles vaccine, I'm not sure if it's MMR, but there's a measles vaccine that's administered at six months and at 12 months uh, to children. I had to wonder, was the study and your approach based on the experience that there's this big question mark about, you know, it seems... Um, South Africa uh, and the African continent is faring slightly better than countries where vaccination uh, is not as widespread as it is in this country. Yeah, that's a great observation. And we do speculate that perhaps um, coverage of vaccination programs in some countries has potentially been beneficial in terms of preventing uh, COVID-19. We would enroll people who have already received the vaccine because we think that this training effect is probably a, a sort of a medium term effect that probably only lasts two to three years. Uh, and so p while many healthcare workers may have had the vaccination as children, uh, you know, we would be offering them a booster. And the idea is that booster would train the immune response so that if they get exposed to COVID, they would be protected potentially. Well, this is the idea we're testing. Okay, let me roll two questions in one then. Um, why are you uh, prioritizing the healthcare workers? I imagine that there's a specific reason uh, that is beneficial to what you are trying to observe. But at the same time, how does this study fit in with the work um, that you're doing, uh, that is being done by your colleagues um, around, you know, the other vaccine work? Yeah, we're targeting healthcare workers because we think they're still at higher risk. Even with personal protective equipment, we know that rates of infection have been higher in healthcare workers. And it's really important that we protect the health workforce in order to sustain our response to the pandemic, but also to sustain our other really important health programs. So in South Africa, our HIV response, our TB response, our immunization programs and, and the like. Uh, and so that's the reason that we're prioritizing recruitment of healthcare workers. If we can show that this approach is successful, we think that this could certainly be applied to other um, healthcare workers. And the reason we think it's important to answer this question is that uh, we think there is um, feasibility for this approach, but also it's an incredibly important strategy if successful for the region, because 
we're concerned that it may take a while to get specific vaccines. We don't know their safety profile, whereas we know the safety profile of this vaccine. Uh, and if we do have success, it is something that we could scale up fairly rapidly. It's a mm. single vaccination, simple to administer, and could be rapidly rolled out in low and middle income countries while we're waiting for these specific vaccines. Sure, that makes sense. When will we know um, whether we've got a, a winner here? So we're hoping to have an answer in the next 12 months. All right. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that, uh, Professor Sinead Delany Moretwe, uh, talking to us there about the work that they are doing at Vets University uh, and the University of Cape Town around the MMR vaccine, which originally is meant uh, to deal with the issue of measles. Uh, and they're, seeing, uh, they're trying to see if it can help uh, in the fight against COVID-19.